Are you getting your first dog? Wanna get some expert tips from a pro trainer? <laughs> well, I didn't say I was the personal trainer. Personal trainer? Anyways, stick around for my three top tips on getting your first dog on today's episode of Buddy the Borrow Dog. Yeah, if you're looking to find happiness where well, you ain't gotta look no more Check the YouTube channel, look for Buddy the Borador Welcome back to another episode of Buddy the Borador The show where we bring you canine content on dog treats, toys and training tips So I bet you wanted to find some tips out Well, let's get into the tips Tip number one Be financially ready Dogs cost a lot of money. <gasps> yes, you do. Ah. In fact, the average person spends £28,000 on their dog in its lifetime. Twenty eight grand. That's about as much as like a Tesla or something or a new Audi TT. I think that would be pretty cheap for a Tesla like but... <sighs> Now you're gonna need to buy a few essentials before your new doggy arrives. Food bowl, water bowl, collar, dog lead, ID tag, dog bed, dog toys, dog treats, dog food, and poop bags. Just to name a few essentials. Now of course you might need to buy a few breed specific things, so just make sure you do a bit of research before you get your dog. It's probably the best tip. I could give you. Tip number two, be prepared for behavior issues. Now, no dog is perfect. Really, can you please stop? Now, all dog owners run into some sort of behavior issues at some point in the dog's life. Am I really boring you that much? I swear to God, dog. Don't worry about stuff like this because all owners experience it. Just sort of be a little bit prepared for certain things like excessive barking, disruptive chewing. Mm -hmm. I'm actually joking, he was pretty good. And he still is. And aggression issues. Ah, oh, no, don't. Be licking your bum, man. Thank you. We've got that. Don't you dare. My top tip would be to read up on each of these issues and also just dogs in general before you get one. So I would recommend The Secret Language of Dogs by Victoria Stilwell. It's a really cool little book that I picked up from Pets at Home and it sort of just gives you a bit of an insight into dogs and why they do things the way that they do. You want to know why dogs eat poop? It's in this book. Luring at its best. So yeah, if you want to pick this one up, I'll pop a link in the description and you can grab it off Amazon. Tip number three, training classes. Researching into any local puppy classes is a must in my opinion if you're getting a new dog. It's a great way to get the grips with your dog and you learn so much, it's actually ridiculous. Me and Buddy here actually go every Thursday and we have an absolute blast every time we go. You learn anything from walking your dog properly to sit, stay and even jumping over cones and stuff like that, which we've done. We did it on the first week and he, he just, he didn't jump over it at all, did you? My favorite bit from the train session so far probably has to be when the trainer decided to get Buddy up for a demonstration, which I was absolutely petrified at. He has Buddy with the trainer in the center of the room. Pressure is on, he has to perform here. And basically what she was doing is she was putting the treats underneath the truck like I was saying before. I do apologize if there's any extra microphone sounds here because Buddy's decided to walk around the back of the microphone set. Mate, can you actually move? I'm struggling. But yeah, as you can see, he's pushing the truck. Absolutely proud of him. You know, I was just sat there like a proud father. It was absolutely amazing. Um, so if we skip a bit forward here, and you can see how absolutely hilarious it is when he actually locks back eyes with us because he's found me and He's happy to see me. So after the trainer had showed us all how to do it, it was then our turn to do it, and it didn't go very well. It didn't go very well. Push. <laughs> nope, you'll get this when we've done the outro. Thank you very much for watching today's episode of Buddy the Borrow. Question of the day is, what is your dog's name? What's your new puppy's name? Pop it in the comment section below, and me and Buddy here, We'll see you on the next episode of Buddy the Borrador. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Bye! Yeah, if you're looking to find happiness where well, you ain't gotta look no more, check the YouTube channel. Look for Buddy the Borrador. Dog training tips I know you can use. Even sell dog toys and product reviews. Welcome to the channel where you know we keep it live. Buddy's here to make you smile. You just gotta subscribe for all your dog needs. And they never skip a beat. Consider this a treat. This is really all you need. Hey, Buddy the Borrador. Uh, come on, Buddy the Borrador.